Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Oh, it's a good day. Lovely morning. Not too hot. And we're getting it all started. We got the container, and as I've been telling y'all, I have so much preseason prep to do. Yes. 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 Tons of decoys to manage, to find somewhere to put. Yeah, it just, it's never ending. Uh, waders everywhere, gear strung out everywhere from last year. Look at this, a whole tote of floaters with no rigs. They need rigged. But before we get into today's video, it's gonna be a long one, it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> I gotta show you the July t-shirt of the month from Ducks, y'all. Oh, yes. Mr. Hollywood, tell me that isn't sweet as can be i hope you guys can see it there that uh that's one of my favorite amongst favorite uh t-shirt of the months i will link the july ducks t-shirt of the month at the top of the description down below um go down there click on it what it is it's a very 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 cheap shirt doesn't cost you much awesome Mi cheap not meaning you know ghetto cheap meaning affordable Oh yeah, you get one in your mailbox every single month, the same day of every month pretty much. And uh, they're always one off waterfowl designs. This one, obviously one of my favorites. <laughs> Walked out of the house this morning. Oh, oh, oh. Old Preston, dude. <laughs> this thing's quiet. Yeah, I was it's say, awesome. It's not loud at all. Yeah, it works pretty good. Like that's a kick up for a second, but. Man, that's yeah. gonna make or die. We're gonna have to do mine. Yeah, mine's do gonna be bad. Man. Real bad. So Preston, he bought a uh, power washer for the lodge. Big shout out to P Diddy. I've been needing to get one. And uh, he's cleaning out his trailer. We're gonna clean out my trailer. <sighs> yeah, and he went and bought LED lights. What else? A switch panel. All for the old girl. You're excited about old girl, dude. <laughs> We're gonna get her rolling. <laughs> We're gonna get her rolling. She's what all? Uh, what all do you have planned for old girl right now? Oh, light bars, light bar on the front, reverse lights, LED lights around. <laughs> um, what else? We're debating on putting on a whole new motor. This thing's pretty junky. Yeah. It's, it's had its days. The, the CV joint came off and bent the whole frame. And Yeah, it's it, pretty toast. It needs it's, some work. It's got a ratchet strap holding her together. Yeah, but. it's not good. I'm going to ask y'all, if you guys have any recommendations on awesome little... Like, well, a, like a service drive. Yeah, like a 9 to 16 horsepower. Surface drive. Yeah. If you guys have any recommendations for like a 9, si nine to 16 horsepower surface drive, a little ready to go setup that just bolts on pretty much is what we're looking for. We need one for our little two man, two man Johnson here. The two man Johnson, uh, we're going to do a lot of public hunting in this bad boy. I don't care if it's a big lake, if it's Cheyenne Bottoms. We're sending it in the bad boy. This would be nice for some bigger water that we have to hunt. Yeah, exactly. Like, just pull it along. It's way better than the Argo for getting around big water. Exactly, though. The Argo, she's glorious and all, but she's slow. Yeah, especially when it floats. Yeah. So, please, please, please drop a comment down below. Give us motor recommendations. We need them. We need some help. We're doing her up here. Where'd the rain come from, dog? I don't know. Wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> kind of yeah. seems pointless. Clean in the rain. <laughs> you're out here in, in a raincoat. Here. You could, I look back, he's out here in his raincoat, still getting it. Oh, look at her. Dude, that thing was disgusting. That looks really good. It's clean now. Yeah, it is. Good call on the power washer, man. It's gonna get a lot of use this year. Yeah. It's gonna be get a lot of use. Did you get this all cleaned up? Yep. Get really? the outside a little bit now. Dang, homie. Well, that's it. Dang, yeah. We gotta do this to mine. Want, it might take a little more time to get mine cleaned. I don't know, we don't, I think don't, <laughs> an old man like me needs that. We don't need it, you need it? Yep. Well, if we get it done. I'll take either one of these two in close too. Yeah, I pulled my trailer up here. We're gonna get it cleaned out. I thought it was gonna be worse than P. Diddy's, but 
when I think about it, he had that muddy Argo uh -huh, in his trailer. Uh huh. And a lot of mud fell off and dried on the floor. Mine really isn't that bad. I mean, not too bad at all. But my spare tire will get her out of the way. Me and Preston were talking about the boat, and I was like, dude, let's just get a nice motor and put on it. Something that something that we don't have to worry about. You know what I mean? So even if you guys have a good little engine, a little surface drive in mine, and you're like, man, that's probably too expensive, just shoot us a link down below because I want to look at all the options. We want to get in something that we ain't got to worry about, and you just hammer the throttle and go. Well, thanks, man. You didn't have to sweep my trailer out for me. I'm on a roll today. You're a, you are on a roll. You're focused. You are Mr. Clean today. Times 10. Been overdue. Spring cleaning was missed. It's summer cleaning now. Now it's just waiting for the season to get here. You're just amped up for the season. That's the problem. It's getting close. <laughs> Look, it's getting close. August, mid-August, North Dakota is getting yeah. close. We'll be there. We will be there. Old honkers. Literally with your shirt off in the blind, sweating. <laughs> I don't know, but old Preston, you're not messing around. It's got to be done right so we don't get screwed out in the middle of the marsh. You're not kidding. Uh, look at the whole, <laughs> look at the new panel little, you little got. Tip went, yeah. <laughs> Where are you mounting that bad boy? Show the folks. Look at, look, look at you. You just got so the pull the, out. Dang. This should be on that side. The, uh, whatever the hell this thing's called. Yeah. And then, so the switch will be right here for your right hand. Oh. Then gotcha. I'm, I'm oh, so you'll drive with your left hand. Yeah. Switches on your right hand. Yep. Gotcha. Well, that's slick, dude. This is going to be, dude, okay. We need a name for it. Kind of like the Quacker Smacker. We can't use the Quacker Smacker again because that's the old electric decoy. We need a two-man. This is a two-man killing machine I right bet, here. I bet they got some ideas on there. Yeah, you guys got to drop a comment down below. What's the best name you can think of for old Pete, Eddie, and I to be blazing? Look at the light bar he's mounting up. Mm -hmm. He's been doing all the intricates. I've been cleaning my trailer. Check her out. Sham. Sham. Soap the outside. Look at this. She hasn't looked this good in years. Yep. Old Frederick. Uh-huh. She looks real good. Wow. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming over and getting me motivated, Preston. Yeah. He showed up. He started cleaning. Look at this. Uh-huh. You guys haven't even seen it this clean since the day I bought this bad boy. Is that the first time you cleaned it? Dad, like cleaned it, cleaned it? Yeah, yeah that's definitely the first time. I've like cleaned it, cleaned it. <laughs> Look at you, professional custom it boat designer. It, it looks Look pretty at that. good. Dude, you're spiffing the old girl right on up. He's a custom fiberglass worker now. He, he's custom boat mechanic. <laughs> you're you're you really are a jack of all trades. I'll I'll have to tell you. You'll give me that one. I will give you that I'll one. I'll take that one. Looks good. That's sweet, man. So that's gonna control some LED bars, the LED lights in back. Navigation lights. Oh boy. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to get some plug-in or rechargeable spotlights handheld. Yeah, this has a USB on it. Oh, there you go. Somewhere. Will we be able to jam? Will we be able to put some speakers on this bad boy? <laughs> yeah, get a Bluetooth speaker. We need, yeah, we need a BA one. Yeah, one that, that, that just would be so jams. Funny. This little dingy running across. The oh, mark. just jam it. Oh, just mount you one of them big DeWalt. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking, I'm talking like your old rig that you had in the in bed of your truck. truck. Yeah, uh huh. Back in the day, Preston had a a whole cooler or something that was built out of a cooler that was the whole length of his bed and it was a speaker box and holy crap it was loud you working man yeah well oh p diddy you have been at it dude oh fresh oil in the beast 
Yeah, I don't know if it needs any, but. Uh, we got it fixed up. Uh, we got a very, very janky bolt to hold, um, what are we gonna call this? The prop, the propeller shaft uh, to the output of the motor. It's just for idling purposes, just to get her started up. P. Diddy just put on a brand new pull rope, which I broke a long time back. And uh, P. Diddy, if you, I'm sure y'all are wondering why is Preston doing everything on your boat? For one, completely volunteered himself. For two, this is actually his. I mean, let's just be honest about it. This is his boat. I quote in a video bought from him a long time ago. We really just decided to, hey, let's uh, store it at your house, Bob, and let's fix it up one day. And that's what today is. That day finally came. Yeah, and you kind of got your rear end into gear literally in no time because you knew I wasn't going to do a damn thing. Well, I wasn't either. I just, <laughs> I was ready to, I was ready to give her a try. Right, I, and you've do, done good work. We're gonna try to fire up here. This will be the first fire. How much sea foam did you put in that bad boy? I don't know, a couple little drips. A couple drips. We got some ether. And some ether. Gonna try to get her going here, boys. Uh, I wanna put the fuel cap on her, I think? Probably should. Probably should. Um, so, old P Diddy, which we'll look at him here in a little bit. He said he found three options for different motors. We are going to replace this before we go relying on it at four in the morning. You know, because a lot of public marshes that we'll be taking this to, that's what you're doing. You're relying on that bad boy to perform and not give up on you at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, give her hell. Give her hell. Bubba, stay back. This is going to spin, okay? Stay over there. Come on, baby. I would, We do need to take it out on the lake at least one time, you know? If she fires, we're taking her out on this video. Hopefully she does. Come on, girl. Oh. Oh. You can do it. You can do it. Uh oh. So this is where that's the right way, right? Open? Uh open circuit, closed circuit, right? I don't know. Oh no. Yeah, we you didn't have the power. Yeah, she got a fire. Oh. 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 <laughs> she lives. Look at her. Oh yeah. Was short lived, our janky bolt, like I had talked about, done. Okay. <laughs> I just watched it. Shoot oh, out. oh, did it? Well, there we go. Now we know. Look, look at this. Look, yeah, it rips. We just uh, I went and bought new batteries for the golf cart. It literally breaks the tires loose out here on the asphalt. You love it? <laughs> yeah, it's like having a new golf cart again. You need to put me wearing these seat belts, probably. Yeah. Seriously, that's how fast it is. The thing is, if you flip the thing, just don't put your arm out. I don't plan on flipping it, but... Well, I know, okay. but it is fast now. It's like, it's scary fast. Earlier... Papa did a good job. I'll yeah. take it home. Do you want it? Well, he's got the lights going. Check her out. He's got the uh, tape lights. Isn't that what you call them? Tape light? Yeah, light strip. Light strip, my bad. Going around the entire thing. Dude, that looks good. What switch? Oh yeah, that that is on. Never mind, dude. That is a unit. Looking good. You're really getting down, son. You weren't messing around today. You came with a plan, and you're getting her done. See if that side is on now. Okay, let's go see. I don't know, but that uh, strip lighting is sweet. Yep, it's on. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, well. We uh put another ghetto bolt in her. See if she fires up again. I might have to go rip it. Well, she fired up last time. What happened? Oh. Oh. In case it comes out again. Oh. She fires right up. Hmm. 
won't stay right. Here. Come on. I'm telling you, it has to do with this really? sensor. Really? What's that sensor? So, it broke off in here. It's I think it's the low oil sensor. Really? Does it always do that? This is what I had. This is why we're buying hell them. and back. <laughs> trying to figure out what the issue was. <laughs> why it was dying randomly. And it, I think it, I'm, I'm sure it was that. Oh, you ass. I don't know. This is why we're buying a new motor. Right? Exactly. Because we were just talking about it. And I'm like, the main place we're going to use this, two places. One place is a lake south of me, which isn't too far, not a big deal. The second place and the main place is a big marsh. And it's, isn't it like every bit of an hour and a half? Yeah, it's a ways. So the deal is, is it's an hour and a half. We've both been there a ton. But when you're out there, you're out there. And if you have a malfunction, you're gonna have to either push it all the way back, probably. And hopefully it's a decent year where it's not too deep or you're calling for help. And that's not what we wanna do, so. New motor, it is. Again, guys, if you haven't already dropped a comment and uh, you have a suggestion, please, if you're that guy that normally don't talk, I get it, hey. I get it. I was that guy. I'm still that guy that don't like to comment that much. Please just help a brother, brothers out. Uh, you found what's the brand that you found that you want to get? Man, I can't remember. You're gonna have to pull out your phone. All right. What are you doing? Tell. What you gotta do is run down the specs of the motor you're buying. Look at that bad boy. We're making it happen. What? Uh, go down the list. What all that bad boy? 16 horsepower. V twin electric start. Yeah, it'll be a breeze. So we were gonna go the other route where we you order what is it the surface drive and then you kind of throw your own motor on it. And yeah, and we added it up and it ended up being twenty five hundred and fifty bucks, and that was for what horse? For thirteen. For a thirteen horse. If you just pay the extra, I mean six hundred bucks, seven hundred bucks, you can have a sixteen horse electric start completely ready to go that's what we're doing dude this thing is gonna rock and roll it's gonna rip it's gonna be <laughs> hilarious it is gonna be the ultimate two-man machine that you have ever seen we need to do a uh, a weight test to make sure it can fit that 16 horsepower i was oh, just thinking true. about that does that like does that say how heavy that bad boy yeah. is the new unit you just figured out how 103 pounds 103 and what does this boat occupy two or like i can't even remember it the says two persons right yeah and then there's a weight on it 500 two capacity i don't know max oh max oh god <laughs> <laughs> nine. Oh gosh well i mean she'll rip right I don't know why it wouldn't, unless it's the weight. What's the weight? Say 500? Yeah. Is that what that says? I well, that, that's okay. That's 500 on the weight capacity. Isn't it? We're gonna, what we will do is when we get the new motor on it, we'll give it some, some honest, like, trials. We'll load her down pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. See how safe she is. But man, this thing has to be pretty buoyant. This thing's heavy. You think the other one's lighter than this? I don't think it's lighter. 103 pounds. You weigh 200. I weigh 200. Whoop. <laughs> oh, well, it's the next day. Get it, son. Come on now. Uh, everything's done. The boat, as for the boat, first off, you checked and it's already shipped, has it? Hasn't yeah, the. the the drivetrain has the, oh, okay. the motor hasn't yet okay so the surface drive unit yeah. has shipped but we still have to buy the honda motor yeah. for the top of i hope that motor doesn't sit or the uh surface drive doesn't sit here for a week and we got to look at it with no motor hopefully that motor ships quick yeah but it's on its way the next video about the boat will prob probably be us mounting up the motor taking it to the lake and giving it its first maiden 
voyage the two-man uh the two-man boat what did you call it earlier what was the name that you had Shit. i can't say that on here <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to drop a comment down below and uh, help us name the two-man boat it's going to be a public uh, it's gonna be a public machine. Old man Preston's gonna get after it all season long for the teal and then we head to uh, Alaska uh, September 18th and that's gonna be amazing. Y'all will be with us. Y'all won't miss a single thing as long as you subscribe and hit that notification button down there. Yeah! Look at that! That was an invasive maneuver right there. Dang, son. But we're going to start using the old storage container. There you go. Look at her. She just goes right up in there. How much water is Oh, there? yeah, she's draining. You better leave her like that for a minute. Yeah, I didn't want to get your floor all wet. But, guys, just like the podcast, uh, go check it out. I always link it down in the description below. We're getting ready to go inside the lodge right now and bust out one. Today's topic is our worst yeah, experiences our with guns yeah our worst I, accidents I, I, yeah i was gonna call it our worst accidents with guns thankfully we haven't had an actual accident mm -hmm. but maybe there's been some close calls and all of us have unfortunately close calls in hunting with guns yeah so it's gonna be it's gonna be one of them one of them podcasts where we're spilling the beans on some things yeah we're talking about some gun safety and just making uh spreading the awareness for sure and everybody's got a story so if you got one let us know yeah. go over the podcast drop one in there yeah exactly i think there'll be some good ones on there we can talk about in another one down the road right so yeah but like always podcast will be linked below uh don't forget guys the fourth of july independence duck sale 20 percent off everything on the site all the way through the 4th of July weekend. Don't miss it. I will link it at the top of the description down below. Go to uh, Ducks Waterfowl, see all the new products that we have over there, and save you some money while you can. We have a bunch of new Freedom gear. I'm not wearing it right now. I wish I was, it's inside. But a bunch of new Freedom gear, all sorts of American flags and mallards on everything. Check it out. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time. Criticism, pessimism